In this lesson, let's learn about how to react with emojis. So both in the unique character code, with the unique character code and with the custom emojis. So let's do that. So let me create one more file to the commands. So I'm adding one more file. I will name this as emojis.js. So I will copy the content from the ping.js. So I will use that in the emojis.js. Just I will uh, modify the command here, emojis and uh, simple emoji command. This is this would be the simple emoji command. So let me modify these lines. So if the content, if the message content, the message dot content that is equal to. So usually you can directly execute this. No need to verify the condition because you are directly coming to the emojis. So how to reply to the emojis or message dot channel dot send so here you need to give backslash colon smile colon so this is how you need to react to the unicode this is known as a unicode of emojis so let me show you once how how this uh, looks so uh, let me give this emoji emojis so uh, I think it is emojis. So see, it replied with the smiley character. So this is how the uni character code works. So how I need to know uh, this is a uni character code. Let me show you here. This is a emojis control. If I click this, and if I click like uh, like see M, I got this uh, colon sunglasses colon sunglasses colon so this is how you can use in your code so let me use that like uh, innocent sunglasses like this so you if you type sunglasses so you'll be getting this emoji so this is the the unicode character for these emojis so that you can directly replace here this is one type of using the emojis and the second type of using the emojis is to there is a website called get emojis so here you need to go and here you will be having a list of emojis so that you can just copy one of the emoji like this and you can copy this and you can just paste that emoji so just uh, uh, you can paste in the place of this smiley you can just paste this emoji so once you click that uh, let me try the same emoji command emojis so if i click that i will get the same emoji so let me see that what went wrong so I think I have modified the code before. So now I got the result. So at the this point, I clicked the emojis, but I did not got the reply. This is because the server files are not updated immediately. So as on when you modify anything in the code, you wait for a second or a two seconds so that uh, those will be reflected back here. So first I clicked emojis, the same I clicked, I got here. The, by the second time, the files are ready to kick off. So this is how you need to know how to reply back with the emojis by using the Unicode characters. So coming to the custom uh, way of doing this. So let me show you that. It means uh, how to reply back with the custom emojis. So these are all, all the uh, Unicodes which are available. Emojis, Unicode emojis which are available. How to react, uh, react to the custom emojis. So let's see that. For that, you need to go to the servers. So click here, server settings. And here you will be having an option of emojis. Here you can upload the emojis. So I'm uploading one emojis. So you, here you can upload your custom emojis. But for now, I'm just uploading, uploading the normal uh, emojis like uh, JavaScript logo like that I'm uh, just uploading. So if you have, if you really have some custom emoji, you can upload those things. So here I have uh, uploaded a Java logo like this. So before uh, I have uploaded this, so now this can be accessed with the, you can use this emo emoji, same as the other Unicode emojis. But before doing that, you need to understand, we need to have the role of managing these emojis. For that, you need to go back to the roles here and default permissions. Here you can see there is a option called manage emojis so that uh, it allows the users 
to manage to add upload and uh, remove the emojis custom emojis so you need to enable this only if you enable and save the changes then only we can use the custom emojis we have uploaded one emoji called java logo let's uh, see how to access or uh, send this custom emojis so here uh, just i will keep this in comment the unique code emoji and uh, let's write uh, the custom emoji how to access this custom emojis so i will write a constant emoji is equal to here you are uh, you need to access message dot build so this is a server dot emojis so you are trying to access the emojis object dot catchy dot first so i am just accessing the first emoji so let me send it in the channel message dot channel dot send so here let, let's i am using the template literal so custom emoji so let's do that so here i will uh, try to print this emoji so which we are which we have just now uploaded so let's see that how it will look so skip here go back so as on as i said as on when you do the changes check whether those are reflected back or not so go here so i'm using emoji so now you can see a custom emoji was replied back so this is a java logo you can see a custom emoji was replied back in this way you can use the unicode uh, emojis and a custom emojis as well so in the next lesson we'll learn about the permissions